times all the words past the margin. The whole Welcome to NBA Basketball. I'm Damon Bruce. We've got you covered here on 2K Sports. Sunday in the NBA. It's going to be the Dallas Mavericks up against Derrick Rose and the Chicago Bulls. And that'll do it from the studio. Let's get you out to Kevin Harlan and the rest of the 2K Sports broadcast crew at the arena. I'll see you back here at halftime. Hello fans, welcome to this presentation of the NBA Sunday Night Action right here on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan along with Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. We'll hear from Doris Burke on the sideline coming up. At the United Center, Chicago fans are cheering for their Bulls. And brought to you by State Farm, here's a quick look at our starting lineups. And guys, checking out Joe Kim Noah here. What can we expect from him? Well, the big thing with Noah, Kevin, is that he's a hustle player. He gets on the glass. He's a tremendous offensive rebounder, and his long arms allow him to block shots defensively, get out and cover pick and roll with those, uh, those, those quick feet. So this is a player who does a lot of things well. And that dedication also manifests itself on the court, Steve. I mean, Joe has said himself, hey, I don't have the most talent. So he's really embraced, I'm going to work harder mentality. Now here's Rose. And James pulls it down. One of the things about Derrick Rose that you love is that he's a gym rat. He's a basketball fanatic. But it's interesting. He's not really into playing a lot of pickup ball in the summertime. And in fact, he's even said he doesn't really enjoy the NBA All-Star game that much. He likes the real thing. He wants to play to win. Now, good way to get things started here. Steve, always nice to get the first points up on the board. At least I felt that way. A chance now to go to Doris Burke, who had a chance to talk with Rick Carlisle. He communicated to his players that when taking on Chicago, they have to be as physical as possible to match the intensity the Bulls bring. He said they have no problem banging bodies inside, and we shouldn't be afraid to respond. We can't be intimidated by them, and I want us to go right at them. Sounds like we'll have a physical game on our hands, guys. Thanks a lot, Doris. Going back to Rose in the All-Star game, he even got asked about his not dancing during the East All-Star intros. I mean, he said it just wasn't him. I like it. I love that. you got to stay with what you do and who you are. Do you. That's what we like to say. He's all business. He's playing in the shadow of number 23, the legendary Michael Jordan. And it's hard to imagine him shaking a leg before a game. So I think Rose is on the right track there. Talk about a great start. Three of three from the field to get the game going. They're cooking with gas, folks. Outside Butler. It's good. This time the assist from Rose. Butler's got his first two points of the night. Great move to get to the bucket and lay that one in. He's got the softest touch around the basket. Impressive. Mayo left side. Plenty of space. And it's Chicago with the rebound. You know, the Bulls have been a regular fixture in the playoffs since joining the league, literally. I mean, with the help of Michael Jordan, they have become, along with the Celtics and Knicks, one of the most storied franchises in the Eastern Conference. Boozer gets the bucket. And the offense, I mean, three or four, a solid start for this game. It's stolen by Dang. There's the pass to Butler. First quarter of basketball, just over two and a half minutes play. Noah, and he misses the go-ahead basket. And with six banners hanging up in Chicago, the city has really cultivated a lot of pride and winning tradition here with the, with the Bulls. And, you know, Steve, that goes a long way. You were a Bull player at one time. You know all about that pride. Yeah, no better place to play in the NBA than Chicago. You know, when you're winning, the whole city loves it. Obviously, Michael Jordan was the main reason for that era. But so much history now for the Bulls, and they sell out game after game. Unbelievable throwing support. That's terrific defense right there to prevent from converting in close. Back to James. One forty-four and left here in the opening quarter. Nowitzki can't get that one to fall. Bulls trail by three. Rose attacking. Back to Dan. Here's Boozer. 
and he lays it straight in. And hard work on the boards, guys, leading to that putback. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. Chicago making some changes. Taj Gibson's checked in for Boozer. Bellinelli comes in for Jimmy Butler, and it's Heinrich in for Derrick Rose. Carlos Boozer is a guy who increasingly over the years has leaned on that jump shot. He could always make the shot, but early on in his career spent more time down on the block. Now with Chicago, we see him more at that elbow area. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. And you know, guys, for Carlos Boozer, using that jump shot that you mentioned, I think helped him blend better with Joe Kim Noah. They can both bang inside, but Boozer has the ability to step out and be effective, and I think it opened up things for him offensively, but also for Joe Kim Noah to get to that offensive glass, too. Carlos Boozer's checked in for Noah. The Mavericks also with the sub. O.J. Mayo is checked in for Crowder. Out of bounds, Dallas takes possession. Boy, just a brain cramp, guys. I mean, that should have been the simplest of exchanges. So for the Bulls, Jimmy Butler comes in for Carlos Boozer. And Derek Rose is subbed in for Bellinelli. Sean Marion is checked in for the Mavericks. Now here's Collison. Right the pass to Collison. Vince Carter on the wing. Five to shoot. Dallas needs to get off a shot. 13 feet away. Dang grabs the miss. Tang's got his third rebound tonight. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game play. Here's Heinrich and the basket good. Good job creating an easy bucket there. The Mavericks leading. Outside Collison. He passes to Brand. Working on Gibson. Collison, he's covered by Rhodes. Collison gets to right, misses in close. Here's Butler. The shot is off. One quarter in the books, and it's been a close one so far. The Mavericks on top, up by one. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. And the second quarter getting underway. No team gaining an edge so far. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen here, guys, from the Mavericks. I was impressed with their transition game, guys. They really got out and ran the lanes. Yeah, they did. I mean, no better way to get easy buckets than through fast breaks. On the floor right now for the Mavericks, Sean Marion and Dirk Nowitzki, the forwards. Allison and Carter in the backcourt, and it's Brand in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Dallas calls timeout. You typically get a bit of a grace period as an organization after you win an NBA title. But I can imagine the Mavs would have liked to have done better against the Thunder in last year's playoffs. Yeah, getting swept did not taste good. Here's Collison, looking for his first bucket of the game. Feeds it to Nowitzki, working on Gibson. And the shot is good from Nowitzki. Nowitzki's got the second quarter going with the first basket of the period for the Mavs. Clark, as you mentioned with the Mavs, no team likes to go one and done in the postseason. That's exactly what happened to them, especially when you know some of your stars are aging. And they've got some age there right now, Steve. Yeah, but they've got uh, some house money to play with, Kevin, because of that championship uh, the season before. But, you know, Dallas is now in a transition phase. They knew uh, their stars were getting older, so uh, they, they had a pretty good draft this past summer. And now it's a, a time to move forward to the next era of Mavs basketball. Let's check out what Doris Burke has for us. Guys, Chris came and coming to Dallas this offseason in free agency. And interesting to see him playing alongside Dirk Nowitzki in the front court. They have some experience playing together on the German national team. Though Cayman was born in the United States, his great-grandparents were German, and he acquired dual citizenship in 2008. A one-year contract for Cayman leaves the Mavs with some flexibility, and he can certainly help them inside, guys. And at seven feet tall, he's got the size to do it. Thanks, Doris. Big mistake not having more defensive pressure on him out there. Bulls trail by four. 
Heinrich dishes to Boozer. And a great assist by Heinrich as that one goes in. Six points for Carlos Boozer. Well, what I love about Tom Thibodeau's guys is just how hard his teams play. And you know they're prepared because uh, Thibodeau is so meticulous in his preparation. But the guys play hard for him. And you can tell they really enjoy him and they really like him uh, because they really get after it for him. Here's Kamen after Carlos Boozer's score. James misses. That's one he knows he should have made. The Bulls have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. James against Heinrich. Ellen Ellen shoots the three. Cannot hit. And the dunk by Boozer. He simply said a tremendous rebound and a tremendous dunk. He was square. He was a man possessed right there, Clark. Mm. Yep. That's the kind of energy that you always get from him uh, night after night. Taj Gibson's checked in for the Bulls. Rose comes in for Kirk Heinrich. And for Coach Tom Thibodeau, you know, Steve, it took a long time to land a head coaching position. Some say his intense style scared off some teams. They worried about his gruff demeanor. I, I think just the opposite. I, I think that you know, a lot of teams were welcoming him. He was going to bring some order, some discipline, some structure. Well, he just didn't have the, the personality that some teams are looking for in terms of, you know, media uh, relationships or, you know, uh, sound bites, that kind of stuff. Uh, and he didn't play. So he was really a guy who had to work his way up the ladder. Obviously, has turned into one of the best coaches in the league. But you know, it's tougher for guys who, who didn't uh, come from an NBA background. Allison with it. And Rose picks him up defensively. Collison against Rose. Here's Grand. That falls. Great assist by Darren Collison. And the Mavericks lead by one. The Bulls have gone four of six from the field here in the second. Collison against Rose. One thirty-nine left now here in the second. Pass to Bellinelli. Shot clock at six. That's good. Ellenelli's got four points now in the quarter. He is really having a good quarter, a strong quarter, an efficient quarter. Doing a lot of positive things out there. So for the Bulls, Joaquin Noah, he's checked in for Boozer. Bang comes in for Jimmy Butler, and it's Heinrich in for Bellinelli. Dirk Nowitzki, he's checked in for Dallas. Carter comes in for Crowder. Now here's Collison, still looking to get on the scoreboard. From downtown, and Dirk Nowitzki hits from deep. Well, Dirk is just so good at the offensive end of the floor, Kevin. The ability to shoot over the top of people. He's added so many things to his game, too. Post-ups, getting to the rim, being aggressive, and going to the foul line. Dirk Nowitzki, a first ballot Hall of Famer, no question. Most definitely, Steve. This guy has been phenomenal throughout his career, and very few situations bother him. He's clutch as a scorer, and he's more clutch because he's an excellent free throw shooter, too. Now here's Mayo after the miss from Joki Noah. And the shot is good from Nowitzki. It looks like he's finding his touch now because the shots are starting to fall. Out of bounds, Dallas will take possession. That's a major mental mistake. I mean, there's no other way for me to describe it. He didn't know where he was on the court. That's a, that's a, that's a basic fundamental. You have to be alert to where you are. The Bulls making a switch here. Butler's checked in. Then for the Mavericks, White comes in for Sean Marion. And James subbed in for Darren Collison. Now here is Carter. He has five from outside the arc. Rebound by Heinrich. A tight game here. Neither team has been able to gain an upper hand on the backboards. Well, both teams really getting after it inside. It's been an interesting battle. Dishes the Rose. Jacks up a three. No good on that last second attempt there. And we're through two here and a good one. Mavericks lead by four. And we'll be back right after this. And now, brought to you by Sprint. And it's time to bring you the halftime report on 2K Sports. For the Dallas Mavericks, they have the lead against Chicago. They're putting on a clinic offensively, and they're really starting to click. Dirk certainly playing well so far. After two, he's got 10 points and has helped out a bit on the boards as well. And giving it their all, the Chicago Bulls. 
They've been relentless attacking the rim, dominating in points in the paint, and the bodies down low have been banging away. Carlos Boozer has been outstanding. How's that for a shooting percentage? A hundred. Yes, 100% from the court. Not too bad. Now let's head back out to the start of the second half. Kevin Harlan, Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke take it away. And a look here at the skyscrapers surrounding Chicago's front yard. Frank Park. Welcome back, everyone. Boozer has been great. He has 11 points and not a bad game for him on the glass either. Not at all, and that's somewhere where he can be effective on any given night. Our second half of basketball, and presented by Gatorade. Let's see who's all fueled up and on the floor to start the third. Taking a look at the Bulls. Luol Dang, Carlos Boozer, and Joaquin Noah, the front line. Derrick Rose is out there with Jimmy Butler. Not exactly the way the Bulls wanted to perform in the playoffs last year, Kevin. And Derrick Rose, when he tore his ACL in the first game of the opening round, it was something they couldn't quite recover from. From the sideline, let's catch up with Doris Burke. Well, Kevin, the Chicago Bulls for the last two seasons have been the best rebounding team in the league by a wide margin. Coach Tom Thibodeau still isn't satisfied. He said, there's still work to be done, but we're moving in the right direction. Our smalls are getting in there. We're making a conscious effort of rebounding with five guys. The message apparently is getting through, gentlemen. Well, Doris, you haven't gotten to stop till you secure the ball. They're all about those stops. And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. But credit to the Bulls. They did get a couple of wins before falling to the 76ers in six. But once Rose went down, their hopes, and Noah too, I guess for a degree, their, their hopes at a title were probably out the windows. Yeah, no question. It was a tough way to wrap up what was a fantastic regular season for the Bulls. But, you know, you need luck uh, to win in the playoffs. you got to be good, but you've got to be lucky. And unfortunately for the Bulls, their luck was all bad last season. Here's James after the made shot from Joakim Noah. Marion outside. Over Dang. A shot by Marion, no good. Solid advantage in the rebounding totals for them so far here. You know, in every game, but particularly in a close game, every little advantage you can use helps, and they're certainly enjoying one on the glass here. Now here's Boozer. He's got 11. Here's Rose. From down in the low post, it goes. Now just a two-point Maverick lead. And the Mavericks with some changes. Taj Gibson's checked in for Booster. And it's Bellinelli in for Jimmy Butler. And everything really runs through Rose with this club, Kevin. They like to run shooters off of screens and keep defenses occupied. Uh, but really what they're trying to do is move the defense around and give Rose those driving angles that he needs to create havoc. Yeah, and he's been able to break down his man with regularity, and when he does that, it creates opportunities to find other people, and I think his vision is improving as far as playmaking for others goes, and as he continues to refine that, then he's only going to be more of an MVP candidate. The Mavericks have gone two for two in the game at the line. And this club shot 77% uh, as a team last year. Good, not spectacular, but solid. You know, Kevin, they would love to post a similar percentage again this season. I mean, I think that's safe to say they'd love to shoot free throws as well as they did a year ago. There's Bellinelli. Back to Heinrich. Over Collison. And again, Chicago. No good. Now you look at Kirk Heinrich, a nice defensive-minded combo guard. Really the ability to guard either guard position. And he had to miss the start of last season after shoulder surgery, and then he really had to work his way back after that. Now here's Mayo, following the miss by Kirk Hunt. Mayo, the pass to Carter. And the three off target. The Bulls trail by four. And Heinrich at six foot four does an impressive job defensively. And Kevin, it's offensively where he's starting to struggle a bit. More of a jump shooter, and I'm sure that surgery didn't help. We'll see if he can get those percentages back up. The Mavericks have gone three of five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. Collison against Heinrich. Outside Collison. The feed to Carter. Beyond the arc. Kept alive. 
Brand kicks to Carter. Brand sets a screen for Carter. And they convert at last on attempt number three. Carter's got seven points in the game. Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. Back to Heinrich. Over Collison. And it's Gibson finishing it off. Mavericks leading by four. And here's Collison looking for his first bucket of the game. Outside Mayo. Launches a three. And that one's good. Even when they're Ding him up, I mean, he's a very good shooter from out there. Bulls have gone four of nine from the four so far in the third. Tipped. Here's Noah. Takes it up for the stuff. Pretty significant laps there on the defensive end, guys. Yeah, those are the ones. I mean, you just can't allow them. No, if you're giving up dunks and layups defensively, you're in huge trouble. Outside Collison. A three ball. No good. The third quarter comes to a close. The Mavericks on top, leading by five. And we'll have the start of a fourth quarter for you as soon as we get back from this short break. As the fourth quarter gets rolling here, let's check out our Sprite Uncontainable Game. Let's go to Doris Burke. Hi, Doris. Kevin, our uncontainable game in this one, the stretch by the Mavericks. They have a firm grip on this game and have been the team calling all the shots through the first three quarters. Only question is, how big can the lead grow to? Doris, thank you. That was quite a run. They had quite exemplary of what we think of when we think about that turning point. Definitely. A Sprite uncontainable game moment. Yeah, you won't get any argument from me, Kevin. It was as big a factor in this game as anything. You know, when a team builds up that much momentum, it just becomes so hard to turn the tide back around. Yeah, see, they just kept the throttle down. They sense an area of weakness and then just continue to exploit it, never letting up. On the floor for Dallas, the forwards, Sean Marion and Dirk Nowitzki. Then there's Chris Kamen. Then there's Carter. And it's James in at the one. Now here's Rose. Noah with a screen on James. Rose attacking. Noah. So the Mavericks will take it the other way. They really need to start looking elsewhere, guys, because he can't get anything to go. Nowitzki sets a screen for James. Over Rose. Can't hit. Well, that's a very low percentage shot. Not good basketball at all. One he probably should have passed on. Outside Butler. Back to Rose. The dish to Noah. Down to five on the shot clock. Outside Rose. Elbow shot is on the way. And that's good for two. Another nice move from the player. We basically come to expect nothing less from. James dishes to Carter. Nowitzki with the screen on button. That drive by Carter can't make good off the screen. That was not pretty there. You got to make that one, but maybe that's not his range. On the wing, and there's Dan. That's good on the assist by Rose. Rose has got his third assist on the night. And, guys, Dang has developed into a very good shooter, especially off spot-ups or maybe one-dribble pull-ups. He's got range. He's developed that out to the three-point line. Uh, but he really likes to go to that mid-range area. One or two dribbles into the paint, he'll rise up, shoot right over the top. But you know what I like about him most, Steve? Dang is a very well-balanced player. He does a lot of good things offensively, but he's just as good at the defensive end. He's a big key to his team's tough defense. Free throw, good bundle. Kirk Heinrich, he's checked in for Noah. The Mavericks also with a sub. O.J. Mayo, he's checked in for Vince Carter. For those just joining us, fourth quarter here, we're just over two and a half minutes into it. And finished off by Kamen. The one-handed flush, very nice. Yeah, nice strong finish there. Mm, just punched it home. 
Rose with the ball. He's picked up by James. Boozer passes to Dent. Over Keenum. Here's Boozer. Drops in the layup for two. Been a little too easy for them inside, hasn't it? Yeah, I think so, Steve. I mean, they've really dictated the action in the paint. Um, that's been their focus, and the defense hasn't mounted much resistance at all. Now here's James. Nowitzki, he's covered by Dan. Nowitzki kicks to Mary. Kicks it out to Nowitzki. Six on the shot clock. Nowitzki draws the double. Here's James. And it's good assisting on the play was Nowitzki. And the Mavericks lead by four. That's how you have to attack the double team. Find the open man. Get the ball out of your hands. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Hi, guys. Over that break, I was able to catch the message Tom Thibodeau was giving to his team. He told them it's time to fight and take the lead. Let's put ourselves in position to bring it home. Guys, we'll see if they've got what it takes to get it done. Tell you what, it has been all offense all game long. You know what? This is really fun to watch, guys. I mean, as a coach, though, this is when you want to just harness this energy and bottle it up and ride it all the way. James dishes to Nowitzki. Fade away. Joe King Noah grabs the miss. Noah's got four rebounds in this game. Rose goes in. He gets to Booster. Back to Rose. Over James. It's good. This game is all even. That's seven points for Rose. And that bucket ignites the crowd. Crucial bucket there. And you hear it in their reaction. And you can feel the energy throughout this building right now. What a huge shot. Here's James. And there's the three-second call, this one on the defense. And the technical free throw is good. Now you can't say enough about his composure in big moments. He's as cool as they come, guys. Pass to Nowitzki. Working on Boozer. Fades. Nowitzki, no good. Really high quality shot there, just a little off with his release. That miss right there will definitely leave him shaking his head. Kicks it to Boozer. Outside Rose. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Some people might call him vertically challenged, but say what, his size didn't hurt him on that rebound. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. And so they choose to intentionally foul. That's right. No other option but to foul and hope for some misses. Yep, you got to extend the game here. Try to keep that clock from moving. Second one is good. We both at the line, and it's a three-point game. Fantastic piece of work at the line to raise the lead to three points. That's big. Nails it! And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. Nice piece of work there. Find a little space and pull the trigger. And now they foul and stop the clock. Good on the first, and that will put them up by two. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a three-point game. And so here is Chicago. A chance to tie it up, Clark. A three would make it happen. For the tie. Oh, he couldn't make that shot go to force overtime. So it's an arrow victory for the Mavericks, pulling out the W. Clark, it was anybody's game right to the very end. Yeah, it was. The coach is happy with the outcome, but maybe not so much with the margin. Thank you for joining us for this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports. For Clark, Stephen Doris, and the rest of the crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Last but not least, here is your Jordan player of the game, Dirk Nowitzki.